Hello everyone, it's uh, Memorial Day weekend 2020, heading into a uh, new hunting location I've had my eye on for this fall, going to uh, sneak in and see if we can find a few signpost rubs, maybe a few uh, other signs of some deer activity from last fall, never been into this location before, it's mostly all gated and open to foot traffic only, so it should be uh, pretty low traffic this fall hunting. Uh, I'd like to get out a little sooner to do some scouting, but the, uh, this is the only opportunity I've really had. The leaves have got quite a jump on me, so the visibility be down some, but it'd be a good day out in the woods otherwise, and uh, hope to keep you up to date on what I find. All right, I've started to get down into this little spot here. If you look right over here, I'm working my way along this giant bog. It's not really fit for man to beast. Up on this higher side, we got the transition into the hardwoods, working the way up the ridge. So I'm just kind of working my way along this buffer zone here between the green, green growth and the hardwoods. See if we can pick up any sign. I've seen a few tracks so far of uh, some deer this spring, but nothing that looked like it was last fall yet. So uh, we'll keep moving along here until we have uh, light enough to see and uh, see what we can find. All right, we moved along here quite a bit further. I haven't still seen any sign that really excites me, but I've come to the end of that big bog that I've been skirting. I don't know if you can see right out there with the ridge in the background, but I found this nice uh, little trickle that's running down into it. And uh, this trickle should lead me right back up to the uh, height of the land here where the watershed starts going the other way. So I'm gonna sneak up the edges of this, see if I can pick up a little sign along here and uh, finish the day out on this. And uh, if we don't find anything, I'll probably uh, move up into the higher ridges tomorrow, chasing a few trickles up over there. And uh, we'll see what we can find. All right, I followed that trickle up to the height of the land. It's all fed off a giant beaver pond here. This is the last beaver pond on that trickle. I've skirted two or three coming up through there. So from this high point here, the, uh, all the water will start running the other way into another drainage system. Uh, it's about 4 o'clock now, so I think I'm going to start working my way back out. I probably got a good hour and a half, two hours of the truck. Uh, got a good game plan for tomorrow. I'm going to move up the ridge further here and uh, work the edges of the softwood. If you notice the ridge here. Start working my way up, I'm kind of skirting that edge, that green growth and hardwood, and uh, see if we can follow any trickles up along there, look for some sign, and uh, I think we should be able to cover a good portion of that tomorrow if we get a good full day and start fairly early, but still a beautiful spot, red-winged blackbirds out here, plenty of mosquitoes and black flies. Didn't find a lot today as far as deer sign, but uh, we'll just keep plugging away. A day out here without deer signs better than a uh, day uh, working, that's for sure. Have a good... Hello everyone, we're uh, on scouting day two here. Made it to the peak of that ridge that I showed you yesterday. You can't really uh, see a lot up here because of the trees, but we're at about 1,200 feet or so that's about as high as it gets in my area it's not like uh, western Maine it's a little more flatter but we still got some pretty good ridges so I uh, followed some old twitch reddit trails to get up to the peak here saw quite a few deer tracks moose tracks a lot of sign been coming up to the top of the mountain uh, I was just pretty much walking old twitch roads on the way up like I said so I didn't see a lot of other sign beside tracks so we got a pretty uh, steep edge here dropping down into the valley that uh, the uh, contour lines are stacked right up so I'm going to try to ease my way down over there then work parallel to the ridge back the way I came and see if I can uh, pick up a few spring uh, trickles coming down out of the mountain and uh, check those out see if anything's been working up through those little notches so uh, I'll uh, keep you posted on uh, what we find 
Well, I've been working parallel to this ridge and I found uh, what I was looking for here, a nice uh, headwaters of a nice little spring that's going to run down into the valley here. See, it's just coming out of the uh, rock bank right over there. Turned into a nice trickle all the way down over the ridge. So I'm going to uh, take that down over the ridge and keep my eye peeled for some sign and see what we can come across here after I get a nice refreshing drink. No beaver upstream of here. Alright, I started working my way down this edge. It's a nice stand of uh, mature spruce down through here. It was just uh, too steep for them to get in here and cut. It's uh, quite steep in here, but surprisingly uh, moose and, de and deer I've seen track climbing right up the steepest parts here. So seems like that they are definitely spending some time here. The tracks don't look super fresh, so I think they may have been a lot of them from last fall. So it's starting to show some promise in here. You see uh, where I came from. Pretty, pretty steep. The camera doesn't really do it justice, though. Oh, black fly on my lens. You can see I'm starting to get to that buffer zone where the uh, hardwood is starting to meet these mature softwood. That's the edge that I want to go ahead and uh, start to work and uh, see what we can see. Alright, I followed that trickle all the way down over the ridge and I'm right down on the back side of that bog that we uh, was looking at yesterday. Just wanted to show a nice uh, moose rub here. That took out a little aggression last uh, fall. Been a ton of moose sign down in here. Keep my eyes peeled for some sheds as I go around. And, uh, haven't seen a lot of uh, deer sign down in the lower part. Saw quite a few tracks up above, but I didn't come across any old rubs or scrapes or anything like that. But that doesn't mean that the big guy's not running around there. It just means I haven't come across his uh, signs yet. I'm going to skirt the edge of this bog here on this backside that I haven't been on. And uh, just never know. Might come across the shed down here, might come across some more sign, just checking out new area and spreading myself around here a little bit, uh, keep you posted. Well I think that's going to be a wrap for today, probably all I will uh, search around this area this spring, I found two pockets where there seemed to be a good fair amount of deer tracks, got a uh, good variety of woods here, you got some big mature softwood, you got some steeper ground, you got some intermediate stuff that's grown back that's oh four to ten inches and I came up through the edge of some newer cuts within the last couple of years and those are loaded with raspberries so you kinda got a good uh, good overall woods here for deer. I found two pockets with quite a bit of tracks. I didn't find any rubs or scrapes but that's alright. Uh, I think the deer are getting a lot of pressure in here from the coyotes. I've seen probably 30 or plus better piles of scad on this road. You can see this one here. Packed pretty pretty heavy with hair there. So uh, I think this is a place I'll file away for this fall if we get some snow. It's not necessarily a place I want to come in and the bare ground. But if we get some snow I may uh, sneak in here on the snow machine try to cut a quick track and maybe uh, learn a little bit more about the area that way as far as routing and maybe come across some scrapes and rubs. But uh, it's good to get out, get a little exercise, get ready for the fall, learn a little bit more about the area, see some nice sights. A ton of moose down in here if a person had a permit for this area. I think it could uh, make out pretty good in here. but. Uh, I guess that's all we're going to do for this area. I'll have you uh, stay in touch for the next adventure.